Howdy, Christian. Name is Camille Foster. I'm a journalist who's been tracking your story for some time um, and actually did some reporting on it. One of the things that you discussed recently in an AP interview was that encounter with Amy Cooper in the park. And you described what happened there and your behavior specifically as a kind of in your face. And when I interviewed Ms. Cooper some months back and talked to her about that incident, what she said was, if there was one thing that she would say, should say to you, she would explain that you scared her. That is what she would say. And I don't know that most people are aware, and I'm curious to know if any journalist has ever asked you about the two previous encounters that you had in the park in the months before you met Amy Cooper, where there was some sort of physical altercation with other dog owners. Actually, and it does seem to me that that kind of colors, that knowing yeah. that would perhaps color things in a slightly different way in a lot of people's perspective. If they knew, for example, that you did in fact threaten her. Mm, okay. There's, mm. Well, all right. So mm. when we're talking about that incident, there's two things to remember. One issue is, you know, the dog walker, the dog walker versus the, the birder, which is a common theme in the ramble. The other is the racial aspect. Thank you. When it comes to the dog walker versus the birder, the story begins and ends with, was her dog on the leash like it was supposed to be in that protected part of the ramble? And it wasn't. And, you know, I tried to nicely tell her a couple of times, it needs to be. But that's where the story begins and ends. As far as, you know, how she interpreted things, I never approached her. Um, I never physically threatened her. I was not <coughs> holding anything in my hands besides the dog treats or, uh, and uh, the iPhone. And that's what annoyed her, was the iPhone. She was angry that I was recording her. So make of that what you will. I talk about the incident in the book. I talk about those other two incidents you mentioned in the book. So read that chapter, it might give you some perspective. But the bottom line comes back to she chose to inject race into that situation where it had not been before. And that's on her. And, you know, maybe it would have been nice if it had turned out a different way. I don't know. I, I can't, in retrospect, look back. A lot of good things came out of what happened there in terms of people being aware of the racial bias that runs through our culture. So I don't know if, if, if I would even want anything to change if it would stop that revelation from coming to people. Um, but, you know, that's basically it. Does that answer your question? <laughs>